Hi guys and welcome back. So today we are showing you a quick connection video for the Arsenal Pro. Now this one's a Pro so it has the USB-C on either end. There you go and the memory card there so you just push down and that will pop out. I've got a Samsung 256 gig in there. So what you want to do is connect to your USB-C cable, slot it onto your hot shoe. So the arsenal is facing, if you just see that, so that is facing you so you can read it. Turn on your camera first. Okay, so we have the camera on aperture priority, um, which is the main uh, mode that you'll have it in. Um, so we've got an EOS R5 with a 16 to 35 L series lens on here. Um, so what you want to do is go ahead and turn the arsenal on. Now there's a button just at the front here. Press that. That'll all light up. That's your power indicator light. So let that um, turn on. Okay, this screen will flicker at some stage. You know that it's booted up, ready to go. There you go. See the little computer symbol that just popped up briefly? Um, so that is now connected and the arsenal has control of what goes on from here. So if we pop onto our app, we will show you how it connects. So opening the arsenal app now, you'll see straight away, um, this gives off a Bluetooth signal and the arsenal app looks for that Bluetooth signal. Um, if you do find that it doesn't come up at all, um, you can see here that it says A2 Pro, the battery life, the camera, and then connect. If you find that that doesn't come up, there is a screen um, behind this that says search via Wi-Fi. So there's two means of it trying to find your camera. So if you just click connect, that'll then connect to the arsenal and show you a live preview. As you can see, it is blurry at the moment. But if we tap the screen, press and hold on the screen, focus. So the yellow means that it's not focused, uh, green means focused, and red uh, square means that it can't focus. So just on that little focus, it just analyzes the scene and says that that's gonna be a 140th of a second shot at 4.5 ISO 100. So just quickly, if we click the smart button, that'll reanalyze the scene again, focus and take the shot, and then it'll pop it into our gallery, which is the bottom right here, and then that's our gallery. So if we just click on this top right, then you'll see the photos that we've taken in the gallery. Click on one of those, you see down the bottom it tells you what what um, it's actually done. Shutter speed is 1 uh, f4.5 at ISO 100. That's the settings that it's believed is the best for that scene. And just down the bottom here, this little slider is the deep color slider. Now, since Arsenal is pretty much being designed for landscape photography, uh, you might find scenes inside like this um, it tends to go quite blue, but you can halfway slide that, um, you know, to get a bit of an idea on what it's going to look like. Um, so the point of the, um, the deep color slider, which is that one there, is that you don't have to edit your shot and you can share that straight away. Which uh, the right external storage permission is required to share photos. I uh, don't have those permissions uh, on the app just yet. But um, that's good. So that's a, um, there we go, click allow. So now you can share it. Um, so yeah, that's how you connect it. Um, to shut it down, you can just close the app just like that. Um, I always shut down the arsenal first, single tap. And you'll see that light will go out and then you can turn your camera off. I find that's probably the best way to do it is turning your arsenal off first. Um, hopefully, um, 
connecting yours is just as easy as that if you do want any uh, any questions answered uh, down in the uh, comments box um, I have, have had some dramas connecting mine at some stage and I've gone through a few of the uh, settings on the phone and been able to rectify the problem anyway cheers guys don't forget to subscribe